I'm Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters I'm going to show you how to connect a wireless Xbox 360 controller to a PC running Windows 8. If you're running Windows 7 or before I have another video for that so check out the description of the video below and there will be a link to that. Fortunately hooking up a wireless uh, Xbox controller to Windows 8 is a lot simpler than Windows 7 and before because you don't even have to install the driver you just have to kind of tell the system where it is. Now the first thing you're going to need is one of these which is a uh, PC wireless gaming receiver and it has a USB connector on the end that you connect into your computer and the other thing you're going to need of course is your wireless controller from your Xbox. So the first thing we're going to do is plug in the wireless gaming receiver and we hear the sound that Windows typically makes when a device is plugged into it. And then we're going to go to the control panel. And there are two applets we'll be using, device manager and devices and printers. And there are two separate ones, just want to point that out real quick uh, so that you know that there are two. Uh, the first one we're going to go to is devices and printers. If we scroll down right here under unspecified, it says unknown device. That's the device we just plugged in. It doesn't recognize it. It recognizes it's a piece of hardware, but doesn't recognize exactly what it is. So we're going to tell it what it is. Now if we go back to control panel and we go over here to device manager, you'll see here under other devices, it says unknown device. And once again, that's the device we just plugged in. So we're going to right click on this and go update software driver. Now the software drivers are already built in or loaded into Windows 8 or 8.1. And so we're going to go down to the second selection and says, that says browse my computer for driver software. And it's going to bring up this next screen. And then once again, we're going to take the second selection down here where it says let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. And it's going to bring up a list. We scroll all the way to the bottom and it says Xbox 360 peripherals. We select this by highlighting it and clicking once. And we're going to go next. It's going to bring up a list of different um, devices here. So we're going to scroll to the bottom. It's going to be the very bottom device that says Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows. Now this driver here is dated 8-21-2013, uh, but these will update through your Windows update, so you might have a newer version down here. Just make sure it's the bottom one and it's for the wireless receiver for Windows, and it's the latest version, and you should be okay. Now I'm going to hit next. All right, next it's going to give us a warning, and it basically says this hardware hasn't been verified by Microsoft, so uh, we don't know what it is. And we already knew that, didn't we? So we're going to just go yes and tell it to go ahead and load the driver. And it says here it's been successfully installed and I'm going to close it. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is go back to Device Manager. And down at here, here at the bottom you'll see Xbox 360 controller for Windows. That's the receiver we just installed, but it still needs to be hooked to the wireless uh, controller. So what, what are we going to do next? All right, so here is the wireless receiver, and you'll see there's like a little green LED on there, and it's solid right now. Now there's a button right here that you can press, and it will make that flash. And when that's flashing, it's looking to sync up a controller with it. And so the first time you use it, you need to kind of sync it up so that they know each other exists. It's kind of like if you connect a Bluetooth device to uh, your computer or your uh, smartphone or something. So right here uh, we have the controller, uh, the wireless controller for Xbox and we're going to press this center button right here and hold it until it lights up. Now right here up top on the end of this unit there's a little tiny button and we're going to press that. And when we press that uh, it tells the controller to send out a signal to sync with the receiver. When we do that it will look they will look for each other and then they'll sync together. And once they're done syncing together they should should work okay. So what we'll do is we'll test it. All right, we're going to use a program called Game Booster by Razer. And it's supposed to actually uh, adjust your computer for different video games so that they run more efficiently, but it 
just so happens that it's compatible with an Xbox 360 controller, so it's a good way to test it. And it's available for free, so I'll put a link to that in the video below as well if you want to use that. If you already have a program that you know will work with the Xbox 360 controller, you could use that as well. Not all games are designed to run with the Xbox 360 controller, so you might want to download Game Booster just as a test and then work out whether it works with different games that you're using uh, as well. I'll also put a link in the video description below to a video I did that shows you how you can um, map your Xbox controller to different programs and use programs that weren't originally designed to use the Xbox controller. All right, so I can hit the arrow uh, keys here on uh, the controller. And as you can see, the selection is changing. And I am doing this with the Xbox 360 controller. So that means that we've got it hooked up and it's working and everything. So that's, that's how you get it set up. So it's as simple as that. Uh, I'm Mungo Dark Matter and this has been Dark Matters. And whatever you do, enjoy technology. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.